guys welcome back to my channel today is a come thrift with me and i'm very excited if you've seen my last video like i said i kind of have been having a style crisis so i'm really happy to be getting some new pieces today hopefully i'm going with my friend danelle again and i can't wait to bring you guys along let me show you the fit of the day real fast i don't know if you can see but i kind of wore this in my other video too for the lookbook but um, this time i layered this little top that i thrifted um, over my cami from H&M and then I have this skirt from Walmart and Mary Jane's. Also, thank you guys so much if you left a comment on my other video and all the love you guys have given it. I really appreciate it and I promise I see your comments and I am going to try and do more videos doing different aesthetics. So definitely stick around for that. First up, we looked at shirts. I first found this neon pink shirt with little butterflies on it. They were so cute. But I'm not sure if I'm into hardcore Y2K anymore and this reminded me of it. I still like Y2K, but this was a little much for me. This frill collar shirt really intrigued me because I thought it'd be a really good piece for layering, so I definitely tried it on. You guys, this shirt kind of breaks my heart a little bit because I thought it was so cute and I didn't end up getting it, but it was just so unique and fun. Also, I've been very inspired by ballet core lately. Surprise, surprise, I'm into another aesthetic. And this trip, let me tell you, I looked at so many different ballet core pieces which is amazing. I found quite a few pieces for this aesthetic that I'm really excited for. Let me show you some of my faves. Disclaimer, I did not get all of these, sadly. I know. First up, we have this gorgeous pink cardigan I wanted so badly, but it had a stain on it. Ah, so tragic. But it had all the details I love of ballet core, the color, the frills. It was perfect. R.I.P. Next, we have this little slip dress moment. Um, is it lingerie? Yes. But does that change the fact it's gorgeous? No. We love her. Next was this cable knit white sweater. Very classic. Goes with everything. Very cute. Next was another little pink cardigan. I love the lace detail on this and the color was just really nice. I also found this little slip dress which would be great for layering. And we have yet another cardigan which had potential to me but didn't stick out enough for me to end up getting. Anyways, next we went to the jeans. As always, y'all, I found a really cute pair of low-rise jeans. That was a really good brand. Lucky. Are you kidding me? So fun. But sadly, I did not end up getting them. These jean pockets were absolutely insane. Love the detail. And the same with these jeans. They were also bedazzled and had the coolest detail. I couldn't resist trying them on. We also checked out the skirt section and found some goodies. Love this little blue skirt. It reminded me of a mermaid. Reminded me of Y2K, but in a good way. I loved this plaid skirt, especially with the ribbon detail, but I tried it on and it didn't fit, so had to leave it behind. Alright, it's time for a speed round of cool sweaters. Adored this red sweater. Major Hogwarts vibes. Grandpa vibes, but not in the way I wanted it to be. Loved the green, but fit too tight. Chose this red sweater over the other one because I thought the zip up was so cute. So cool, but so itchy. I loved the colors and the stripes, but it also had a stain, so I couldn't get it. And last but not least, a sequin sweater, which I had a vision for, but my friend Danelle says ugliest piece of clothing she's ever seen, so I didn't get it. Vote in the comments below whose side you're on. We also saw a lot of cool bags here. We didn't end up getting any of them, but I thought I would show you guys just because I thought they were so sick. Yeah, so. Here you go. And with that, we had a lot to try on, a lot to narrow down, um, but we did it, so let's get into the haul. Really channeling the ballet core right now, as you can see. Um, can you tell I've been inspired? Yes. Okay, let's get right into this haul. I'm so excited to show you guys some of the pieces I got. I feel like it kind of, they all kind of vary from each other. Like they're very different styles and aesthetics, but um, that's kind of the fun of it, right? Like you don't have to fit into one box or style. Yes, let us just jump right into it. First up, you guys, yes, I did end up getting the bedazzled pants that I showed you in that one clip with the crazy bling bling on the ends. Like, these are so fun. Like, 
the ends of them were so cool. Like, it really drew me in for some reason. I thought it was kind of like a unique piece. Like I haven't seen a ton of embellished jeans lately. I also think it'll be really fun to style. The fit was pretty good. They're kind of a little bit boot cut wide leg, which is funny because I swore I would never go back to boot cut at one point in my life, but here we are. I think these will really go great with some either simple tops or if you want to make an extra statement, you could put like a dress over it. I know. Um, I want to try it. I also thought the gray was really nice, a really good color, and that's all I have to say about that. Very fun. Next up, we have this red cable knit zip up. I thought this was super cute, very 2000s to me again. Um, yeah, I know I say this a million thousand times, but it does remind me of Gilmore Girls, okay? I just think the cable knit was so cute and the like little zip up detail was so nice. In fact, you can wear it open or closed and it will still look really cute. I thought the color red was kind of super fun too. Like I've heard that red's supposed to be super in this fall and I love it, I love red, so I'm all for it. And I think it will look really nice with just a like, little low rise pair of jeans and like a tank top, super cute, super casual, amazing for fall. Next up, I have to explain my vision on this one a little bit. So I saw this picture on Pinterest and I can knock it out of my head. I think I put it in the thumbnail and even earlier in the video, but I have to talk about it, okay? Um, as I mentioned, I've been loving ballet core right now. We get it, we know. But I saw this picture on Pinterest and I loved everything about it. Pink cardigan, the cute white skirt, the bows in her braids, the ribbon, I guess. I really liked how it was very feminine and it, really dressy but also like I don't know still felt very fashionable and high fashion-esque to me. With that being said I found this cute little pink cardigan. I paired it with this little white skirt I found and honestly like it's not nearly as good as the picture from Pinterest but like she's getting there like she's almost almost like waltzing right into that idea you know. I'm really pumped for this and like I said I just I think the ballet core has really been inspiring me lately. I just think it's so fun how like feminine and frilly it is. There's lace on the sleeves. The color is really, really cute. I'm really excited to try styling this a lot in my daily life. Next up, we have this amazing little slip dress situation. It's definitely from the lingerie section, so don't think about it too hard, okay? I think this is gonna be so freaking cute to style. I'm trying to make it not as nighttime-esque and more day-to-day -day casual, but the little black ribbon is just really cute to me. I think that's such a fun detail, and the pink lace is really nice. It fits really good. She will be very fun to try style again goes right into the ballet core and this pale pink color is everything, everything. Next, this one is just a little tank top that I got. Uh, I thought the print was kind of fun and I actually ordered some of the shrug knit sleeves that I was talking about in my trends I'm loving video and I thought the colors would go really well with this. Um, I also think it looks really good with like a pair of cargo pants. It's like kind of like a fun top but not too crazy or anything so I'm really excited for this one as well. Next up I got this really cute little skirt. Listen I'm not usually like a tie-dye girl but this one did it for me if you can call it tie-dye. I just think it was very like fairy-esque. I'm still kind of into the fairy core so my friend was like you look like a little water nymph and I was like yes that is what I want so I had to get it. I think that it is kind of a mini skirt but I think it could be cute to pair like to the beach or something like that. I've also really been loving bloomers lately. I haven't gotten a pair. It can totally go with the lingerie dress I was showing you guys and other stuff as well but I think even under something like this it could be really cute and fun too and then not as scandalous. I really like the skirt and I'm excited to style it even though summer's almost over I think I'll still get a lot of wear out of it. Next up I have this cute little plaid skirt. Um, this one's definitely more fallish. The fall colors are there. I've really been liking plaid and gingham if that's kind of the same print. I like how it's a little mini pencil skirt situation and I think the colors are really cute in it so it'll just be an easy one to throw on for fall outfits with sweaters and such. I also think with a really cute pair of tights it would be a look so we're definitely gonna try that at some point too. Last but not least I do have this really oversized striped dad sort of shirt. I'm not gonna lie to you it's kind of an impulse buy so styling it will be kind of an adventure but I kind of like how oversized it is. It's almost like dress like so I think it would look really cool over a little skirt or even a pair of jeans that like fit the vibe, you know? The colors in it was really cool, were really cool. Oh, it's inside out. That's awkward. I think it'll be kind of a fun statement piece and I'm kind of excited to try styling it with different things. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. If you're subscribed, extra love to you. And thanks for all the love on my last video. That was really fun. I'll definitely have more coming soon and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.
Sí.